I'm Matthew Bowen. I'm a 2L. I'm originally from Wyoming, but I'm happy to call Maine my home now. My research focuses on how the federal crop insurance program can advance the aquaculture industry. Globally, the demand and supply for seafood continues to go through the roof, but aquaculture is not without its problems, uh, namely that it can be a financially risky endeavor. Inherent in aquaculture is this dichotomy that water is both the life support system of the species and the greatest risk to the herd. Unlike terrestrial agriculture, aquaculture has not been as extensively researched and it does not have the same ability to manage its risks. Insurance protects investments and the investors and producers in the aquaculture industry need that protection. Congress has recognized the value of the aquaculture industry when they added aquaculture to the definition of a commodity for insurance purposes under the federal crop insurance program and when they passed the National Aquaculture Act um, noting that current consumption exceeds optimum sustainable yields. But both of those acts happened in 1980 and despite congressional support for aquaculture the coverage available under the federal crop insurance program remains extremely limited. Only two species have their own insurance plan available under federal crop insurance. Now, other aquaculture species could qualify under one of the general plans, such as the <clears throat> Whole Farm Revenue Protection Plan or the Non-Insured Disaster Assistance Program, but both of those plans have strict qualification limitations and limitations to the amount of coverage. I propose three specific changes to the policy that would increase the availability of federal crop insurance for the aquaculture industry. First, cover salmon outright. Second, create a phased actuarial soundness program for aquaculture. And third, <clears throat> uh, tier the policies to the individual type of aquaculture facility used to rear the species. Now I recognize that these policy proposals would not be free and that the public may be skeptical as to why they should support the aquaculture industry and these changes. <clears throat> Insurance protects investments and the public should be concerned with protecting the aquaculture industry for a variety of reasons, of which I'd be happy to discuss with you at the end of this presentation.